So in the last in the last video, we learned how to set up PHP my admin and uh, basically a lamp on our droplet. Now we will learn how to upload our file uh, also of our website website onto the server. So now I have this fresh uh, folder where I can simply um, create a, a new file. Or rather, I can create a new file right on the server. Now, uh, I'm using SSH keys, so the process that I use to connect will be slightly different when compared to yours. But it's going to be straightforward for the most part. All you need to do is uh, copy the IP address and paste it in. Then use the username root. Now, if you had normally used some password for your SSH, you could enter the password in here. Although we, there's no point in using the password over here since I've set up SSH keys. And I will use port 22. This is very important. You have to use port 22. And anyways, now uh, in order to load the SSH key, you can just click edit and go into settings. Then go into SFTP and add key file. I'll go to my desktop. And I'll add the private key from uh, private key.ppk right from there, and I'll click OK. Now, when I click Quick Connect, um, it will I'll let him I'll let it trust the host. Actually, there we go. So uh, it just connected to my server. Now we just need to go to var www. And in here we'll have an HTML directory where you can then go and paste in your uh, files. So let's say this was an example file that I could just create. I'll just say create a new file. I'll call it index.php. Oh, okay. Minor spelling mistake there. Rename index.php. And I will open it by saying view slash edit. And it will open up in my default text editor. Sometimes it might be Notepad for you, while for me it is um, Notepad plus plus. So I'll just create a basic um, PHP info uh, function over here, and it will upload that. Now, if I go back to my uh, my server, I'll just copy that and paste that in. I can uh, right there. I can just uh, sort of. Uh, get all of the information uh, that I get from PHP now in um, after this we'll configure our domain name uh, to point to the droplet so yeah so if you wish to do that all you need to do is go into DNS um, type in the domain name that you own for example or here I'll say uh, you don't really need to own this but I'll just enter a random domain name say um, Okay, I'll say digital ocean videos. Even though I don't really own that domain name, I'll just enter it. I'm just showing you how you don't need really need to uh, own the domain name at first. Although it is, you can't really do anything if you don't own the domain name. But yeah, you just enter in tutorial. It load in your IP address and you click on create domain. Uh, it uh, occasionally it will take some time so you might want to wait all right then so once that is done you will have your digital ocean uh, your sort of domain name and after that you can pretty much do whatever you want to although uh, you should go, you'll have to go into your domain registrar and change the name servers to these name servers so that you can actually use them uh, actually point your domain to your um, of web address and yeah uh, so that's all for today don't forget to rate comment and subscribe